What's going on guys? Welcome back to Web Development Channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a full screen video background instead of a just static image. We're gonna have here two main sections. One will be a showcase and another one for the about info down below it. We're gonna start it with Scratch. Stick to the end and we will learn how to make it that easy way. If you are new here, subscribe and you also click that little bell so you don't miss our weekly videos. Alright, let's start you really from scratch, okay? In the beginning we have this video, you can have whatever video you want, you can have your cat's video, okay? And that's it for, for the folder, okay? So we're gonna open this one, let's open in our VS Code. And here we're gonna create our main structure. It's just two files, okay? It's that simple. One for the index.html and another one for guess what? Another one for styles. It's gonna be style.css. Now is the HTML part, okay? Hit exclamation mark and tab so we have this boilerplate. And this is the simple part of it, okay? Uh, let's come to here to the font awesome. Just copy this link and paste it here. Why do you need that? We need that for the icons, okay? Another uh, link is gonna be style.css. It's gonna connect our CSS to our markup. And for the title, let's say something like video landing page. Down here in the body, let's create the, the sections, okay? The first one, as I told you, is gonna be the showcase. And in that one, let's have also the video container. And in here, we're gonna have the video, okay? In my case, we're gonna use this BG background. Okay, you feel free to use your own videos, make it better or make it yours, all right? And okay, the second thing here, we're gonna have our content, okay? Also in a div, because it's gonna be easy to target that in the CSS. And here we have H1, the sky is the limit. And also H3, say, start learning web development right now. That's a good advice, all right? Almost done here. Let's also have our button. Our button in this case is gonna be a link, okay? Point to about. And let's give it a class of BTN so you can target that on the CSS. Saying read more, okay? In the video here, let's have autoplay mostly without sound and loop, so it's gonna run forever, okay? And this is what you have, a very ugly uh, page without the CSS, okay? But at least the section is there. Let's go and create our second section. Let's have an idea of about, okay? Remember that you can have more sections and make a full website, okay? And let's have a H1 about. Let's have a paragraph here. I am using the Emmet Lorraine. You can use your, your own words. And let's have a H2 saying follow us on social media. Okay, you can really do that, okay? I'm gonna have here my social media, okay? Let's have a container. Let's put everything in the container. Let me show you. Yeah, it's all here. Ugly, but it's there. And here I'm gonna just paste, okay? We have a link and also an icon from Font Awesome. It's that simple. I'm gonna give you the link down below in the video description so you can do that, okay? And that's it. That's what you have. This is our markup, okay? It's all there. All we have to do now is go to CSS. Okay, this is what we have without the CSS. Let's go to the Google Fonts and you can have the link or if you prefer, you can have the import here so you can put it right into your CSS. I prefer this way, all right? Let's change the font here, okay. We're gonna be using poppings. Let's go create a, a variable, a primary color. Let's have one color for 
our main call of the whole website and type here okay you're gonna be using this text and now let's go also to the create a CSS reset okay box size is gonna be but the box all right and let's get rid of margin and also padding so you're gonna be avoiding bad surprises all right as you can see it's working okay so let's keep moving let's move now to the body okay down here in the body let's have a text decoration it's gonna be none all right and the second thing we're gonna do here okay you can see and the second thing we're gonna do here we're gonna change the color let's use the, the our primary color okay let me show you all the text now has the primary color and now let's apply some style to h1 The font weight here is going to be 300, all right? The font size, let's increase it to 6 pixels. Let's also apply a line height of 1.2. And let's have a margin bottom of 15 pixels, all right? Yeah, we start to have a nice effect here, all right? Now let's grab our showcase, okay? And here let's give a height of 100 VH. It's going to be free screen, okay? and display layout flex let's put the content in, in the middle of the page with the line item center and justify content center okay the main x and the cross x or the text text align center okay also the color is going to be white this is the color for the text let's give a padding of 0 20 okay 0 top and bottom and 20 right and left and now let's go to the Next, let's go to the video container. And here, let's have a position of absolute, top zero, left also zero. And the width is going to be 100% of its parent. And height also 100%, okay? Overflow hidden. All right, gonna make some progress here. the background let's pick our primary color okay it's easy to work with primary color because you can go there and change everything all right we came across with a issue okay we can't see our sky is the limited text so let's give a z index of two and here it is okay that's quite simple we just increase the z index to two and here it is all right and now we came across with a second issue if you can see here our video is not uh, responsive when you change the size you see that we don't see part of the video so let's go and solve this problem right now okay let's go to the video container and grab the video itself all right Let's give a, a mean width of 100%. Okay, it's going to be all 100%. Also, a mean height 100%. Position here is going to be absolute. Try to put it in the mirror with top and left 50%. And let me show you what you have here. I have this weird effect here. Okay, it's just the mirror, the top and left put it just here okay but let's solve that we have another tool transform translate minus 50% and minus 50% and object fit let's set to cover and let me show you it's right in the middle and that is something else now as you can see is responsive okay take a look at the effect a nice effect okay and it was quite simple it was just a couple of line of code okay and the magic happened and now it's time for us to take care of this button okay this is quite simple learn it right now okay let's grab our button display here is going to be inline block and let's give it a size padding is zero uh, 10 pixels and 30 pixels okay and as you can see nothing happens 
Why? Because we need to add some color. So let's use our um, primary color, okay? And uh, allow me to show you, let's have also the color for the text, it's gonna be white. And yeah, now we have a button, okay? Let's also add a body radius of 5 pixels, make it round or its corners. Let's add a border, solid, white, and it's gonna be 1 pixel, okay, let me show you, yeah, okay. But it's too close to our text, how we solve this. We're gonna have a margin top of 25 pixels and let me show you yeah we just break it down 25 pixels it's quite simple okay and text decoration none we just get rid of that ugly underline all right let's decrease its opacity to 0 0.7 yeah we start to have a nice effect here and the second thing we're gonna do, we're gonna show the user that he's doing something when he over over the, the button that something is happening, something is responding to him. Okay, so we have button hover and transform in scale.98. We're gonna decrease its size a little bit. Let me show you. Yeah, now the user knows that something is going on, something is happening here, and he knows that he can click on it. Okay, this is interactive. And that's it for a button, okay? So let's keep moving. All right, now let's move to the other section, the second one, and let's grab the about, okay? And here let's add the padding of 40 pixels, okay? And text align is gonna be center. Let's put it right in the center, and yeah, it's, it's okay, it's very nice actually, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do here, we are gonna take care of our paragraph, okay? About paragraph, let me show you, is this one down here, okay? Let's make a couple of changes. The font size is gonna be 1.2 rain, all right? It's a little bigger and a little nicer. And the second thing here, max with 600 pixels, okay? We don't want that to go wider than that one, okay? As you can see, we have a, a nice effect. And let's go to about and our H2. Is this one, follow me on social media. Let's make a couple of change here. Margin 30 pixels. All right. Top and bottom, 30 pixels, okay. And let's also change the color. We're going to use our primary color. We always do something like that on big projects or middle ones, okay? And let's also grab now our links, okay? Our social links, those ones down below here. And they're stuck together, so let's give some margin of 5 pixels. And yeah, this is a nice effect, okay? Okay guys, okay web devs, you came to the end of the video, okay, that was a nice journey. And you have these two sections, the main one and the second one, of course you can add more section here and make this a full website, okay. If you like it, you know what to do, so subscribe and also click that little bell, so you're gonna be notified every time I post a new video. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.